Hello everyone, welcome to the Advanced Learning of Fine Point. So in this series of class, we will do more advanced learning about the operation of Fine Point. So this is the advanced learning besides the uh, training for beginners. So in today's lesson, we will use two examples to explain the relationship between parent and child cell between Fine Point. And uh, basically the child cell we're expanding to according to different parent cell. So that's the basic idea. So in here, we're going to use the example, the final result, to explain it, the detailed result. So as you can see, in this table, we have different subtotal and total, and all this subtotal and total are expanding according to different dimensions. So that's the idea for using parent and child cell. All right, so now let's open the designer, and we're going to make a, exactly the same table as the example showed. So in here, we're using the FR demo as our database connection. And also the self model is going to be the data table we're going to use to create our data set. So next, we're going to design our table, so merge our area inside the cells. And also we're going to insert the soap line. So we already introduced the idea of soap line in the uh, training for beginners. So basically, the idea for slope line is to divide it, uh, a cell into different sections, so it gives different column names. So that's the idea for slope line. So in here, we're going to use it again. So in here, we're going to have a product, volume, and region, three different dimensions showing inside the A1, which is the merge area from A1 to B2. So next, we're gonna expand in the DS1 and drag the corresponding data column into the corresponding cell. So region, cells version. And also gonna drag uh, prototype and product on C1 and the D1, uh, C2, sorry about that. So the product type and product were expanding horizontally. So that will look exactly the same as the example showed. And also gonna drag cells border to C3. So the a3 to D3 were expanding vertically by default. Also, we're going to do a little adjustment for the format and save it. So let's call this one cells border. All right. So next, we're going to preview this table. So as you can see, we already have 80% of our final result without the total and subtotals. But right now we already have the mean body. So the next step is to make the uh, total and subtotal. So let's go back to take a look at the examples. So the two sections of subtotal and total are expanding according to different dimensions, such as the verdict name and also the salesperson name. So really quick, we're gonna go back to the designer to merge a couple of sections for the cell to make the Total and subtotals. So in here, we're gonna use uh, D1 as subtotal, and also E1, the merged E1, gonna be total. So for this section, we want to have the equation right now equals to sum C3. Uh, so C3 is gonna be the cells volume. So we're gonna show in different dimensions of cells volume across one of your different uh, column title. So for the subtitle. We wanted to expand our column into different salesperson, which is B3. So in here, we have to change the D3 left parent cell into B3, which is the uh, salesperson. So in this way, when the salesperson is expanding vertically, the D3 subtotal is going to expand as the sales volume according to the salesperson. And also, we want the E3 to have the parent cell to A3, which is a region. So in this way, the total is going to expand in according to different region. And really quick, we're going to test the result to see if that fits our needs. So as you can see, the subtotal is expanding according to different salesperson on the left. And also the total is according to uh, expanding according to different region, East China, North China. So that's the first uh, parent cell we insert for the ID. All right, 
So next, we're gonna make another set of the subtotal and total. So very first, we're gonna merge uh, a4, b4, and a5, b5 to make the uh, subtotal and total. And for the subtotal, we wanted to expanding horizontally and uh, has the upper parent cell as um, the cube, which is the product name. So that's gonna be set by default. And also for the total, we wanted to have expanding according to different product type. So in here, we have to make the C5 upper parent cell as uh, C1, which is product type. So remember, the product type and product is C1 and C2. We set them earlier to expanding horizontally as well. So for the total, we have to change the upper parent cell to C1, which is the product type. Also for C4, it's setting by default. Have the upper parent cell, which is uh, C2 product. All right, so now let's test the final result. So as you can see, we have the subtotal expanding horizontally according to different uh, apple juice, milk, orange juice. So these are all the product main. And also we have the total expanding according to the different product type, beverage and dessert. So that's a very simple idea for how the child cell is expanding to the different uh, parent cell. So we use this example to show you the relationship. So this is our first example to explaining the relationship between um, parent cell and the child cell. So we're making this within one table. And next, we're going to make another example using the producer detail to give you a better understanding about the parent-child cell relationship. So really, the basic idea is the same, but the final display for this time, we want to uh, having our table expanding according to a different producer. So in the display, we're going to have multiple um, table, but really what we're making is only one table in the designer. So as you can see, this is going to be our final result. We have different producer details according, expanding according to different producer. So that's the idea for this table and uh, let's make it. So let's go back to the designer. Since we already have the first table data set, uh, producer, we're going to make the first row of this table. So as you can see from the prior example, we have the producer information in the row one. So we're gonna type producer location and also drag the corresponding data column to the corresponding cell. So D1 is gonna be our producer name and the D1 and the U1 is gonna be our uh, producer location, the city and also the country. All right, let's make the column wise a little bit long wider so you can see more clearly. And uh, for this time, we're going to save this template really quick for the future display. So I'm going to call this one products. And let's just take a look at the rock table we already made. So as you can see, we don't have any uh, expanding. So all of this are expanding according to the producer, which is A1. So we have the five producer name and also the five location, but none of them are expanding because we only have the typing information in A1 and all of them have the default left parent cell, which is A1. So next we want to set the A1 left parent cell into B1. So in this way, the producer will expanding according to different uh, real producer. So as you can see, we have the producer expanding according to different real producer. So that's going to be our first step to set the A1's left hand cell into B1. So in this way, the producer will expand it. So the next step, we're going to merge large areas of cell to make a title for the producer details. So in here, we're going to just write producer details as uh, the example shows. So next, let's take a look really quick for the current table we're making. And as you can see, we have the productive producer details shown on the bottom. And also all the five producer rough information uh, lineup and showing on the top. 
So that's because we need to make the um, upper parameter of the producer detail into B1, which is our producer. So in this week, the producer detail title was showing spending according to different producer as showing in this result. All right, so we are halfway through the table making. So next, we're going to make the detail table body under the producer detail, the blue title. And also, ideally, we we'll want to make the producer detail expanding like the producer detail title, expanding according to a different producer. So in here, we're going to select everything from products. So that's going to be another table we used in products. We're going to have more details about the producer. As you can see, we have the producer ID, the producer type, the cost, and everything. So in here, we're expanding DS2, the products, and also type the corresponding title for this producer detail. So really quick, we're going to write different titles for this um, producer details. So we have the project type. And also we have the product name. And uh, let's do cost for D4 and the quantity for uh, D4. And for the last one, let's do the money volume. So which is going to be the cost times quantity. And for all of the row four, we're going to give a format. And also we're going to make all of this have the upper parent cell, which is uh, B1, the different producer. So in this way, all of this title were expanding as the producer detail expanding as well. So let's take a look. As you can see, we have all the title, the product type, product name, cost quantity, volume, expand individually. And uh, the next step, we're going to drag different data column into the corresponding uh, cell. And uh, for volume, we're going to use uh, C5 times D5 equals to C5 times D5, which is the money. And after this step, we're going to make the row 5 or this value have the parent cell to in order to expand it to a different producer as well. So in here, we only have to set the A5 upper parent cell into B1, which is the producer. And the, the rest, such as B5, C5, D5, E5, we're expanding uh, through the A5 since they have the default left parent cell, which is A5. So once A5 is expanding, we will have the rest expanding as well. So next, we're going to bind in the two data set since we're using data column from two, uh, two different data set. So in here, we have to find the DS2 producer ID equal to the DS1 producer ID. So that's a very simple st step. So don't forget to edit. All right. All right, now let's take a look at the final table we're making. So by far, we're pretty much done with the, this example making. And as you can see, we have the producer details expanding uh, in five sections, because we have five uh, different producers, so they're expanding according to different producers, which is the cell B1. And uh, let's make a little adjustment. Type double uh, space for to make a space for this one. And also, we have to set the upper parent cell to B1 for these two space we're making as well. So as you can see, we already have the space between them. So the space is still expanding according to the uh, corresponding upper parent cell, which is the producer. So that's going to be our final result for this table. All right, so that's going to be everything for today's lesson, the relationship between parent cell and child cell. So that's going to be the first lesson of our advanced learning of our part. And uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.